Well, today we're going to do a little something different on Poppy's Corner. Um, everybody knows I have a varied interest. I love my guns, gunsmithing. Um, like to hunt when I can, fish a little bit. Also enjoy cooking. I've been doing it for a long time. Picked up some good recipes over the years. And today, I'm gonna be sharing what was my secret recipe for potato salad. I just took a ham out of the oven. Looks very good and ready to go. And I think one of the best sides to go with that is potato salad. So I've already cooked my potatoes and boiled my eggs. So we're gonna start by chopping them. And I like to make my sauce on the side and pour it over this and mix it in so I don't have to stir it quite as much so my potatoes still keep a little firm consistency to them and they're not mashed potato salad so we've got our eggs cut up I use blue plate mayo, it doesn't matter. Hellman's is good too, but I like blue plate. I don't measure much like a lot of cooks do. I can tell you there's about four pounds of potatoes in there. So you can use about a cup of mayo. I prefer French's, just personal taste. And we're gonna eyeball that. We give it a little kick with the mustard, but we don't want to overdo it. And what would a day cooking be without a nice adult beverage to go along with? We'll put that on the side. Now that we've got our mayo and mustard together, I've chopped up a oh, medium-sized onion. We're going to get that in there if we can ring the Pyrex jar with it. Now, whatever we miss, we probably didn't need that in there anyway. A lot of people in the South like sweet pickle relish. If you do, fine, use it. I prefer the dill relish. Mount Olive, very good. There's a heaping spoonful, another heaping spoonful, and this jar has been open. I usually use about half a jar of that. Doesn't matter if you get a little bit of juice in it. And I like olives. Some people don't like olives. If you don't like it, don't put them in your tater salad. But I'm gonna put a couple of heaping spoons of that in there too. Okay. Then for the secret ingredient, after we have another swallow of our adult beverage, let's slap your mouth. It's a uh, Cajun seasoning. It's made in Ville Platte, Louisiana. Adds a little kick to your potato salad. You get away from just salt and pepper. You don't need to overpower it, but you have to remember what you're putting in here is gonna flavor this entire bowl of potatoes. And then we're gonna work all that in carefully where we don't spill it. And by getting it mixed up here, it keeps us from having to stir our potatoes too much. Like I said before, making mashed potato salad, I prefer 
a little firmness to my potatoes a little bit so when we get that all stirred up real good my next step is to get my tasting spoon I use a separate one when I use it I'm not going to stir with it again but I'm going to get me a little of that Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's mighty fine. So then we're just gonna pour that over. And try to get all of it and all this goodness. Mm. And we're done with that. Mm -hmm. Mighty good. From there, only thing left is simple. Just fold it easily together, give it a good stir. I think we've got enough sauce to cover it pretty well. Get it all blended good. Tell you what, this is good when it's warm. It's also good tomorrow when you take it out of the refrigerator because all the goodness that you put into it is gonna get blended together. There's a lot of things are better the second day. But I think that's stirred up nice and looks pretty good, so I'm gonna flatten it out. A lot of people like to put paprika on there. Potato salad when they get done with it. Not popping. Mm -mm. Probably gonna put a little more of this slappy moles on the top of it. It's gonna give it a nice little color. A little visual appeal. That's all there is to it. Hope y'all enjoyed. Um, if you did, give us a like. Hit that subscribe button. We've been kind of slack on our videos the last couple of weeks, but Poppy's been a little under the weather. But we're gonna to try to get busy again and we'll have a lot more coming, wide variety. Um, household repairs, maybe a little more cooking. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.